People can grasp the concept of a dog show. <laughs> they cannot even wrap their heads around a cat show. Well, what do you win at these shows? Do you win money? Do you win prizes? No, nope, you win bragging rights. Folks, thank you so much for doing this interview with me, and congratulations on this film, but more importantly, congratulations on doing something that's really different, very unique, and you know pet lovers are going to love this. Um, first, got to ask you, how did you guys even come up with the idea and the concept for something like this? Because, you know, watching the trailer and knowing people who love cats, I mean, this is so bizarre, but so much fun at the same time. Thanks so much. Uh, this is Aaron here. Um, I uh, I kind of stumbled upon the idea quite by accident. I was uh, going to I was at the Canadian National Exhibition, the CNE, uh, two summers ago, and I had been dragged there by my girlfriend. So I do do not like amusement rides, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was feeling kind of dejected and walking around. And then I saw a handwritten sign that said "Cat Show This Way." And I got really excited because uh, I'm a cat fan. So I, I dragged her into this little room and little corner of a, a very big event. And I guess I was expecting something kind of cute, uh, like a almost like a cat petting station or something. Uh, instead, I was really surprised to see a very competitive atmosphere with um, really, really like uh, passionate fans. Uh, almost savants, you know. Uh, I sat down and people immediately leaned over and started telling me all kinds of factoids about the cats and giving me stats and things that I, I really, I was totally gobsmacked. I had no idea this was even a world. So, so you know, the rest is history. I came back to the office and started talking to, to Michael about it, and uh, we made a movie about a year later. So, Michael, let me jump over to you now. Here, here's the thing. Um, I've seen dog shows. And, you know, dog shows are like, if you were compared to the human world, it'd be like, I guess you would call it, uh, you know, high, high model fashions slash Olympics kind of thing slash, I mean, there's so many different concepts to it. That's right. There's a lot of skills involved in a lot of, uh, a lot of tricks and, and, uh, and, yeah, that, that dogs are meant to be, you know, are, are meant to display. But, uh, cat shows are completely different. Cat shows, yes. are, obviously, you cannot teach a cat to do tricks, or at least, you know, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a it's a pretty difficult uh, challenge. Uh, and uh, but what it really is is a kind of a beauty show. Uh, the uh, the cats are, uh, are brought before the judge, and the uh, judge handles the cat, uh, sort of checks it out uh, in terms of its. Uh, condition of his coat, uh, and also the, the main thing is to, to see just how close it is to the breed standard. And these standards standards are actually set by the uh, Canadian Cat Association, which uh, puts on these uh, uh, these events. Now, either one of you can answer this question, um, but um, what are the cat owners like? I mean, again, just getting a, a bit from what I've seen, um, they're different. No insult, but they're different. Uh, I'll take the first crack at that, Aaron, here. Um, I think they're not your typical pet owners, really, <laughs> which is why they made for uh, a great film and uh, why we wanted to make a film about them. We we make films about people that you don't see every day in worlds that uh, are a little bit hidden or off the beaten path because that makes things much more interesting. They're a subculture. I'd say they're like, I, I'm a cat man, at least I thought I was until I met these people. And uh, I, I admit I have some cat apparel cat apparel that I wear, but nothing compared <laughs> to these people. Every, we, we spent a year with these people, and every show we saw them, they had a different outfit that was cat-themed. Uh, and there's, I think, also, like, I do it with a sense of irony and a bit of a wink, because I think it's kind of funny to be a cat man. They, there's no irony to what these people do at all. Aaron, I'm going to ask you then, too. I'm going to jump over to the cats now. I mean, these cats are, wow, they are. They look like the prima donnas of the prima donnas that I have ever seen from any animal world anywhere. Yeah, well, these, you know, I mean, these cats, this is Michael, these cats are actually, uh, uh, they start competing from a very young age. And so they're actually quite uh, comfortable and conditioned to actually be 
up there on uh, on the stage on the podium with the with the judge. They like it. They love. And, you know, in fact, uh, our main char- one of our main characters, Ooh La La, uh, who who is basically what she sounds what, what that name implies. She's sort of gorgeous and regal and uh, <laughs> and she she preens and, uh, and yeah, she's French. <laughs> She, she she purrs with an accent. <laughs> she she, uh, she uh, really is is very much a kind of a uh, well she's she's kind of a, a photo slut really she she, she she loves to be photographed and, and loves to be uh, be fussed and, and fawned over and uh, and she she thrives on it and and it's something that her you know what's interesting too is is this this is completely different from. The sort of the character and demeanor of uh, of her owner uh, uh, Shirley, who is just who's very quiet and reserved and dresses you know very conservatively and plainly, uh, and so I think in some ways she kind of expresses her uh, her need to uh, to to you know to to be seen by the world uh, through uh, this gorgeous red Persian. That's the thing that I noticed, and I'm glad you brought that out too. But the other thing too, and I think you guys mentioned it earlier. Um, it is competitive, and to me, certain people they're they're very very cutthroat. I was like, whoa, these guys aren't playing around. Even though there really isn't like a a, a material, I should say, money prize or anything like that. I mean, this really is about bragging rights. Who is numero uno? Yeah, uh, absolutely. As Michael mm-hmm. said, the uh, uh, you're literally the each cat is judged against what the definition of a perfect cat of that breed is. So it's really the ultimate bragging right to say my cat is uh, is the ideal. My cat is the ideal specimen. Um, and uh, in terms of the competition, I think uh, for some people it, it, there's there's more at stake in that they're they're actually breeders. So to be able to brag that your cat is the best or looks the best, it is good for the business of breeding to say, well, you could have a piece of this. You could be, you could have offspring from this cat. Uh, not that it's a lucrative business, but it is a business. Um, and beyond that, uh, you know, everybody, I, I, everybody has a thing, right? Everybody has a passion. Everybody has a hobby. And these are people who have put all their eggs in this basket. And uh, once they start investing a certain amount of time and money, they are they're they're sunk into it and they don't want to lose. Where can we take this after you know folks get a chance to see this? Is there a chance that you guys take it a little bit further? Because if there's one at the CNE, there's got to be some that maybe there's a national cat show, maybe there's a world cat show, maybe you guys go to another country to see what their cat shows are like, or even I'm hoping. There's a reality series somewhere in this. <laughs> that would be, yeah, you know what? We, we have to say that we, we really had a lot of fun making this. And so the, the notion of, uh, you know, doing more of this and, and, and even doing, a, you know, a series is, is actually uh, very appealing to us. I mean, we, we, these people are so um, friendly and open and uh, pleased that we were there because, they, they, you know, they're enthusiasts and they want to share their passion and their love for for their cats and 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 for and for what they call the hobby basically or in fact they call it the cat fancy that's what it's, it's, it, it apparently that was the original term for this back in I guess in the Victorian era when they first started doing this in uh, the UK the cat fancy because uh, we I, I rather fancy a cat <laughs> so, and they are fancy and they're, and they're fancy cats so so uh, but but the you know I think the thing is that yeah obviously this is something that we could. You know, I, I I mean we're we're both sort of kicking ourselves for not doing this twenty years ago, really. This is you know, this this will probably we've been making documentaries, you know, well, Markham Street has made documentaries since uh, like two thousand and one, I guess. And uh we uh, you know, if <laughs> uh, quite frankly, well, I don't know why we didn't do this then. This is this is this will probably be our most successful film. I'm really happy for you guys. When is it, when do we get a chance to see this? Well, um if uh, you are uh, in the, uh, if you're in Canada, you can see a, uh, a short uh, TV hour version on April 1st, and it is not an April Fool's joke. This is very serious business. 
Um, you can see it on CBC television at 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, they have a program, uh, a weekly series called POV, and so we're the, we're, the, we're the film for that night. And then if you're in the greater Toronto area or if you are just a huge cat enthusiast and like to drive to the greater Toronto area from anywhere in the world, you're welcome to come to the Ted Rogers Hot Dog Cinema, which is at Bloor and Bathurst in downtown Toronto, uh, from March 23rd to March 29th, and we are uh, showing it uh, there in beautiful live, in color. In color. It's in, yes, in, in color, color. surround sound, cats will be larger than light. Yeah, we expect people to be sneaking cats in, probably, too, <laughs> just to, you know, this. And, and also we're doing a three-day run at the Princess Cinema in Waterloo on Easter weekend. So, um, this is this is incredible. I, I'm sitting here smiling just thinking about all this. This is so incredible, guys. Congratulations on doing something that is insane, but at the same time so much fun. I love this. Um, for folks who want to get in touch with you guys and learn more, is our website like where can we go social media wise? Steve? Sure, uh, uh, absolutely. The, the best way to to reach us is uh, on Facebook. And it is at Catwalk Doc, or on Instagram you can see all kinds of great cat memes and uh, uh, excerpts from the film and outtakes at Catwalk Doc. And uh, our company name is Markham Street Films, and just Google us, and you can find our other social media handles there. Guys, congratulations on this! I cannot wait to see the full version of this. I'm going to be down there to do that. And uh, man, like I said, this looks like so much fun. Thanks for doing this. Hey, thanks for talking to us. We had a great time, too. Thank you. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. If you're not number one, you're the first loser.